It's Power 105.1, New York Hip Hop and R&B. We've started drinking Hennessy early today because it's a vibe. Yeah, y'all getting lit. I mean, you know the vibes? You know the vibes. <laughs> Hood celebrities in the building, everybody. Y'all, y'all, Hood y'all. celebrity is performing at our powerhouse pre-party. Yes, which I'm is gonna super be... excited. I haven't seen you since my barbecue two years That's ago. Not, you know, Not... it's funny. I was about to say that. That's the last time I think you see me perform, right? Yeah. That wasn't even this year's barbecue. That was two years ago. Two years ago. Um, wow. I know, right? Shit. What have you been doing for two years? Did you drop an EP? I know this. There you, you go. Ju- I've been. You, I went, went to Jamaica. Jamaica. See, I, I like Angie already. That means you're paying attention. Yeah, so I, I went attention. to Jamaica. I performed at the carnival. Yes. In Jamaica. I was mm. super excited. Because, you know, I left Jamaica when I was 12. Mm-hmm. So for me to go back. Had you not been back? These, that was my second time going back. Got so it. my first time I went back was to visit my brother. And then I had a show. I had a booking out there. So that was, that was my actual show. Yeah. So that was actually my first carnival. Like I said, I left early, so I never went to Carnival in Jamaica. Mm. And they showed me crazy, crazy, Is crazy that love. Is weird? Do you feel like um, when you go, because that's, that's who you are, that's where you're from, but yeah. then you grew up here. So do you feel like you're home, or do you feel like, I hope they accept me? i am be honest with you, like real talk, at first, I was nervous. Mm-hmm. Because even though the I had a big record out, and they were supporting my music even before, even when I dropped the mixtape, Trap yeah. versus Reggae, they was rocking with me. Mm-hmm. But it's still like a, a nervous feeling. Like, are they going to accept me as just being still Jamaican, right? But right. I'm based in the United States. Yeah. So I didn't know how that was going to go. But then, like I said, I had artists that and was already rocking with me. you have such a, like, a Bronx Jamaican accent. Yeah. But it's crazy because if you hear me, just now they heard me I'm talking to my mom and everybody was just looking at me like, because I could chip in and out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I feel like that's... That's an advantage that I have. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. I wonder that too because you know I'm Puerto Rican, but I'm I grew up in New York. Dope. And so when I started going to PR, I, w- I felt like so it was a, such an amazing it's feeling, right? but also I felt a little disconnected and I wanted to connect so bad. You know what I'm saying? But do so, you speak Spanish? My Spanish is not good. No, that's why. That's I, why I can it speak because I grew up with a lot of I have a lot of Puerto Rican friends. Yeah, like I have a lot. Most of my friends are Spanish, uh-huh. which is I grew up in the Bronx. A yeah. lot of Spanish people, but that's the thing, like. I speak pure Patois in my house. That's all I speak in my house is Patois. Yeah. So it's like when I come on the outside world, it's like I could go right back in. So I feel like since I had the strong Patois accent, they accepted me as well. Because when yeah, I was yeah. in Jamaica, all I was speaking was Patois. That's crazy. You go mm-hmm. back and forth like that. Yeah. Yeah, that was probably it for me, especially when I was young, when I first started going to PR a lot. And we used to do these parties out there. And I, I was so happy to be there, but I'd be like, my Spanish is different. bad. I didn't want to disappoint mm-hmm. nobody. And then, you know, they'd be like, she's not from here. She's from, she... But whatever. So I wonder for that, for Jamaica, if you have the, yeah, that was like, that. Yeah, that was actually a good question. I, like I said, I was nervous, mm. but I have a lot of family from down there. And everybody, they made me feel like I was home. Yeah, and it must have felt dope to, And you're from yeah. there. You lived there until you were 12. Yeah, I actually went, we actually went back to my neighborhood where I'm from. Mm. Like, so people also respected that about me too. Like, I wasn't just an artist that blew up in the United States and then was scared to go back home. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you went they, back they home. accepted it. Then I had people that was embracing me, yeah. like Bounty Killer, Popcorn. Oh, you good. Yeah, Vibes Cartel. <laughs> like, they was all, like, showing me love on Instagram, like, stuff like that, so. That's dope. Mm-hmm. Good for you, mama. What was that like? So you grew up in Jamaica until you're 12. You went to, like, dance. I know you went to, like, dance school and yeah, stuff Yeah, I like went to that. high school for, um, it's called Violin and Dance. For dance. Mm-hmm. And violin? Mm-hmm. I used to play the violin. Are you nice? Not no more. Why? You should get better. You should practice. A lot of people tell me that you should go back to it. But like I said, like, I was in school for it. So, you know, they had me, like, learning certain things and how to play it. And then... Yo, you could practice now and in a year you Yeah, if you give me the out... violin, I will get it back. I will get back on track with it. You bust that out in a year on stage, That'd be people a movie. go crazy. <laughs> yes. The violin with the reggae. You might not be ready for the pre-show at Powerhouse, but you could be ready for, you know, the next carnival. That's a fact. Bust that out I think there. I'm, I think I'm going to get back. So many people tell me the same yeah. things. I said, like, you let the 21st one told me that. Like, <laughs> yeah. You should play the violin. You, I mean, you should. Mm-hmm. I would. Next time you come, bring it. Let's practice. Say no more. I'm serious. I'm going to really, <laughs> I'm a really, it, really go it. get a violin. Let's try it. <laughs> I'm going to really go get it. I love that. So what else has been happening? You dropped the EP. I dropped the EP. You mm-hmm. know the vibes, mm-hmm. which is going super crazy. Charted dope. number five. Dope. The reggae. Congrats. Yeah. Dope, dope, dope. So I'm like super happy about that. I got the the big single, Boom Pony, that's doing really, really good. You see the Boom Pony challenge. Mm-hmm. The challenge. So you see, never Angie, know. I don't somebody, tell Angie nothing. When somebody's gonna have to, sometimes everybody wants to do a challenge, yeah. but only sometimes they really kind of people pick up mm-hmm. on it and they really go. Yeah, because it was one. all about strong knees. And at the <laughs> moment, <laughs> my knees, the, not, my knees not that good. My knees not that. Listen, good. Listen, we could we could get it together because when I first started, 
I had to really like mold myself because mm. my knees wasn't like I'm a dancer, but when you stop doing something after a while, you know what I'm saying? Your knees, Your knees get, get weak. Get, get then weak. you got to get it strong again. Strong knees. So the hashtag boom panic, strong knees. Hashtag strong knees. Fact. The boom <laughs> panic challenge really, a lot of people, even like grandmothers was doing it. People's grandma was doing it. That's crazy. People's grandpa was doing it. Like no lies on my page. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> That's dope. All right. So the EP's out. Uh, running around doing shows. We're gonna see you at the uh, at Powerhouse pre party. Yep. Um, everybody, by the way, come out early, and then don't forget uh, Powerhouse. Make sure you're there early too because um, doors open at six. Showtime is prompt at seven. Meg The Stallion is opening up. Oh, that's dope. So she's gonna start right at seven. So you know when you get that's to a show, super like, dope. I know. She yeah, I rock with Megan. That's super dope. She got strong knees also. Oh, now she de- she definitely Speaking got of- strong knees. You know what's crazy? A lot of people was tagging her. Cause they wanted her like when I was posting videos, everybody was getting hyped. Mm-hmm. So they kept tagging my fans and was tagging people, like, "Oh, y'all have to do the challenge." Yeah. <laughs> and it's crazy. They was kind of like it was kind of like, like putting pressure. And the people that they would tag was like people that's out there that have a lot of followers, and they had to do the challenge because they kept harassing them. <laughs> so they was harassing Megan Thee Stallion, and I was like, "I Leave hope she doing." No, I was like, "I hope she doing," because <laughs> oh, she really do- got strong knees. No, her knees are incredible. Yeah, no, her knees is crazy. <laughs> Really Honey's like is a, crazy. It's really a thing. Man. I ain't gonna front. My knees is not there yet. <laughs> Her knees is crazy. And I got strong knees. So it's you like know. she just be down there and she just could have a coffee and conversation. <laughs> or with the knee. It's like she can really just hold it forever. It's kind of amazing. <laughs> it's really kind of crazy. Fact. Big shout out to Megan Thee Stallion. Shout out to Megan Thee Stallion. She's uh, setting off the show at 7 o'clock at Powerhouse. And then, of course, the pre party is going down. Young and Mae, Lil Tecca, Shansia, Cowboy, and Hood Celebrity will be in the building. Yeah, yeah. You know the vibes. So, people who haven't seen you, what is the show like? What is people? What is the vibes? My vibes is crazy. Like, I feel like for me, it's so natural. Like, I'm a natural performer. Like, mm. even me, when I was growing up, I always loved, like, my mom would say me, like, I always love to sing for people and perform. It's just naturally in me. So I feel like people know, because if you watch my Instagram, I'd be going crazy just dancing. So just imagine putting me in front of a crowd. Like, I really give you a show. Showtime. From the splits yeah. to the bucket up to the wine, to the waist line, the strong knees, like, I do it all. <laughs> yeah, so they know I ain't never had a boring show. Yo, you should do a song ca- called Strong Knees. Strong Knees. Huh? Mm. I hope nobody is here that because they're going to take that idea. You're well, the other day, Jim Jones was here, and I gave him an idea for an album title. I told him uh, Consequences and Karma because there was a lot of things he didn't want to talk about. We were talking about whatever. And so he was talking about Consequences. Mm. I said, that's a great name for an album, Consequences and Karma. I said, well, because I said, would you spell it with a K? He was like, yeah, I probably had to spell it with a K. Two days later. Consequences. Two days later, he announces he's dropping a fourth quarter album. Guess what the album's called? Consequences. Consequences and yeah, Karma. Cause... With two Ks. <laughs> Consequ- so I'm saying I'm fire, onto though. something here. I'm on a roll. <laughs> you want to make a song called Strong Knees? Nah, I ain't going to hold you. Strong Knees, that's a good, that's a, <laughs> just a topic by itself is fire. And that's what people want. Like most of my big records, <laughs> most of my big records take off like that. Yeah. Walking Trophy, Boom Ponnet. Strong Knees. Inside, knee. Strong Knees. Fact. Strong Knee Gal. Strong <laughs> <laughs> Strong knee gal. What about strong knee gal? Yes, that's what I'm saying. Strong, yes. Strong knee gal. Yo, Chef, we're going to book the studio. <laughs> strong knee gal. You book that shit today. No, that's really like, no gas. That's really a good idea. Yeah, let's do it. Does anybody have a song called Strong Knees? No, you're going to do it. We, we've just decided this. Don't tell nobody is this, no. No, it's yours. It's already documented. If they do it, they're biting, and we already know. Fact, strong knees. This is documented. You got this. It's yours. So I'm so excited. So the next time I see you, bring the song. (laughs) We're going to play the song, and uh, and that'll be after the powerhouse pre-party. Yeah, nobody have a song called Strong (laughs) Knees. See, I already did my research, so anybody that come up with it... Yo, I'm telling you, I'm on a roll right now. Take it. Go, Y'all better have me and Angie Money by Monday. Yeah, go, go, go. (laughs) I'm telling you. I'm saying who... And then you do a remix, and you get Meg Thee Stallion to jump on the remix. Mm. I'm available for consultation whenever you need me. <laughs> huh? You like this? That's a good idea. Okay, I'm here for you, baby. I'm here for you. <laughs> I hope Megan don't do it first, though, man. I can no, feel it. <laughs> doesn't matter. Then you'll jump I on the remix. It. Either way, it'll be good Fact. for everybody. Strong knees. Yeah. yeah. Strong knees, yeah. <laughs> Okay, okay. You're, you're we on for, to something. She's already like, tick, 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 nah, tick, it's tick, really tick. processed in my head. It's thick. Yeah, I think you should go today and record a chef. I need you to book the studio today. Yeah, strong knees, gun. <laughs> <laughs>
and then we will see you Wednesday. Anything else Definitely. that people need to know while you're Y'all here? Y'all can follow me on Instagram, mm-hmm. Hood Celebrity, H-O-O-D-C-E-L-E-B-R-I-T-Y-Y. Go get my EP. When I tell you it's one of the hottest EP, I work really hard on this. So y'all can go get my EP. You know the vibes. Why you do an EP, not an album? You know, it's funny. My album is already done, but I still feel like I want people to see that I'm still putting in the work. Yeah. Like I had my mixtape, Trap vs. Reggae. Then I had an EP before that in mm-hmm. a real life. And now I got the, you know, the vibe. So when people see the the work like that, I feel like they more respect it when you drop the album. Because mm-hmm. they're like, damn, yeah, she's really grinding. She so give them enough warm up, there you enough go. lead up. Mm-hmm. That's good. All right, well, congrats, baby. We'll see you Thank Wednesday you. night. Thank you. And we'll see you when you come back with the new joint. You know the vibe. Strong media. <laughs> yeah, there it is. That's celebrity, everybody. Thank you. It's Power 105.1.